If you would like to see how I went about restoring this 1994 GNL Legacy hard shell deluxe guitar case, including removing all the paint as well as bumper sticker residue, how I went about dealing with these missing and broken latches here, and actually now have a guitar case that opens and closes, and specifically the plastic. How did I deal with the fact that the plastic was broken away and missing? But now I have a completely functional guitar case, and if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. Hello! This is a 1994 GNL Legacy Deluxe Guitar Case, and it has definitely seen better days. The main problem is all the latches are broken off and missing, and we've got holes in the plastic of the guitar case. Additionally, the hole in the plastic is going to make this a little difficult, and to add insult to injury, these are some unusual hooking latch style. Um, guitar closures, not the typical type that you find on most cases. But as you can see, the inside is pristine, and it is also custom molded to fit my 1994 GNL Legacy left handed guitar. So I think we are going to take a crack at saving this bad boy. Now, at first, I went out and I bought this particular latch, and this latch does fit under this metal trim. It will grab this when I close the latch. However, it is off center. If I wanted it centered, I'm gonna to have to drill this piece of plastic out. I do not wanna do that. So I went out and got this latch. Here's the problem. <laughs> it's all problems, right? Okay, this latch underneath does not reach. So what I'm gonna, so what I have to do is lay the latch on top here and drill into the plastic, which isn't that much of a problem. And this latch does fall back on its own easily. So that's a better solution. But there's only two holes in the latch and one of them would have to drill right through the metal trim, which I don't want to do. So I'm gonna have to add another hole here and fix this plastic. But hopefully in the end, I will have something that looks a little bit more like stock, although of course this is now sticking way out, as you can see. This is not a good design, GNL. It really isn't. Like a normal guitar latch would have been so much better. Firstly, I found a drill bit that seems to fit this particular slot really well. Secondly, looking at this pin here, when this is open, well, when this is open all the way, I don't want to have difficulty getting a screw through here. It needs to be above this piece. So I'm looking where this rivet is and I'm going to have to trace out a hole about here, not dead center, but about right about here. And I'm going to use my Sharpie to do that. I have a little mark where I want to drill the hole. Now I am not going to use this big drill bit and try to go in here because it's going to slide and skip all over the place. Instead, I'm going to grab my smallest bit and I am going to center it as best as possible and get a little pilot hole going. And since this is metal, I am going to use my metal drill bits. Goggles on because I enjoy seeing. Hey, I got through it. Would that take like six, seven minutes? Holy crap. Here we go. Okay, let's try this some more. Let's see if the five millimeter screws fit in and they do. All right, so that hole is sufficient. So one down. Two to go. Well, working on the second one, what I did differently was I progressively went to larger and larger bits, so I up until the one that I wanted, and I got through it much faster. Unfortunately, it hasn't gotten all the way through, as you can see here, so it keeps grabbing constantly. So I'm going to go here with a file, and we're going to try paper towel down here. Get this out.
and it fits in. I now have three of these, all with the extra holes. Um, off camera, I didn't film this, but there was a tremendous amount of metal flakes all in the mechanism in here. So I used WD-40 and blasted it all out outside. Make sure you do that, don't leave metal. And as far as the file goes, um, all the diamond-like, it's not diamonds obviously, but it's still there. And the file worked really well, so yeah, I guess the file's pretty okay. Is it Stumac level? Of course not. But it's pretty okay. Now, we're pretty much ready over here to rock and roll on the case. What I'm gonna do to fix these holes, because there's nothing to drill into, is I'm gonna pull back the fabric a bit. I'm gonna take an old backing for a tremolo. And you can get this on eBay for a couple of bucks or on Amazon. Any piece of scrap plastic will obviously do. I am going to epoxy this back here so that there's something to grab on. So I'm going to epoxy it in. And what I'm going to do with my Dremel is cut this into thirds and secure it in the back here. This is my Dremel set and it comes with lots and lots of attachments, including a whole bunch of cutting wheels. So I am going to grab a cutting wheel and we are going to cut this. And yes, I made a little adjustment to make it a little more even. Let's just smooth out these edges a bit. Voila! Now, to secure the plastic, I am going to use this product right here. It's called JB Quick. Basically JB Weld, but it dries and cures a lot faster. First thing I'm going to do is put some tape on these. This will be on the back side just so I have something to secure it with in the back while the JB Weld hardens, and I'm going to put the JB Weld on this side. Now, before we do this, I'm going to make sure that I have space here, so I'm going to pull back any glue that may have fabric that may have been holding this in place. I'm going to do this over here as well, since we have three latches. Okay, i got some space here to get them in. I'm going to go make sure I can get down fairly far. And the same thing over here with the last broken latch. Now the concept here is pretty simple. Mix equal amounts. So I'm going to start with the black. Now let's get an equal amount of gray down. Now, if you save any old debit cards or any old, yeah, any plastic cards, they're coming really handy for this type of thing, just mixing stuff up and applying. So we're just going to mix this together. And now, on this side, let's get some, whoa, let's get some weld on here, and just smear it around. Now, here's the tricky part. We need to be careful we don't get the JB Weld on the fabric. We do not want to do that. And we have to move fairly quickly. So it'll cure up kind of quick. All right, so let's go ahead and Pull this back, slide this plastic down, and in place. And let's move it up and get it right in there. Okay, get the tape to help hold it on. Now let's do, okay, let's do this one. Alrighty, time to wash my hands. Before we put on the latches, we are going to take care of, I guess, what used to be a bumper sticker, some other goop that's all over the case, and some tape residue that's on here also. And to do that, we are going to use some Goo Gone. Yes. We're going to pour some Goo Gone on the worst spots. And we are going to rub it in and scrub this entire case. Let's soak in a little bit, especially right here. This is a bad, bad spot. I have an old mop head that I've used every once in a while. Let's see what this happens here. Hmm, it's not kind of so well, is it? This is going to take a little work.
It is looking very good past the L of the GNL Legacy logo, but we are definitely going to have to work on this part of the case now. As with any cleaning product, make sure that it's safe and it won't harm your finish. First thing you want to do is try a little bit on an inconspicuous spot. Try your scrubber on an inconspicuous spot. Make sure that it doesn't damage anything. The hinges are definitely a bit on the dirty side. And so a little bit of the feet, they've got some rust. Most of the trim looks nice, but I've definitely got some rust here on the hinges. So it is time for WD-40, as always. Get some of this rust off. This is not perfect, but it is definitely acceptable. And it's looking actually pretty good overall. I cleaned up all the shavings from the steel wool. And now it's going to be time to take care of the back of the guitar case, which also has its share of stickers and white marks and scratches and who knows what else is on the back of this thing. But it's time for Goo Gone again. Okay, this is looking pretty good, but before I hit this with an armor roll or any type of um, protectorant, I'm going to happen to use this one just because it's what I have here. What I want to do first is use, use a degreaser and get all of this clean. Um, the guitar case is going to be very dry now, and it's going, you see these white spots? It's going to, a lot of that white is going to be on this guitar. Windex is an excellent degreaser. going to give this a hit with Windex. And sure enough, you can see this side has got a lot of white to it, which is fine. I'm going to degrease this, and I'm going to go around the sides as well. This is under a very bright light, and obviously you can see lots of gray here where it's really dried out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit it with some vinyl protector, leather protector. This is a, this happens to be not a protectant, but obviously you can use Amarol or whatever. And this is my guitar case the next morning, and it is definitely a major improvement. It's not going for perfect here because it is an old guitar case, but wow, looks pretty nice. Now that I have some solid plastic where that hole was, it's time to take a look and line up the latch. And the latch is going to, in its closed position, the bottom of the latch here is going to be just touching the edge. So that's where it's going to go. And let me open this up a little bit. Lay it back down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a little, little mark right in the dead center. And that looks pretty damn good. Now, before I drill this, I want to avoid the drill going through and grabbing any of the fabric. So what I'm going to do here is pull this padding back a little bit and hold it back these two screwdrivers just so I have a little bit of space here and now I'm going to drill into this the lighting is making it a little difficult to see this pilot hole which is actually right there so what I'm going to do is use a sharpie to mark it just so I can see it a little better Okay, it's going to go in, it's going to go in a little tight, which is pretty much what I want. It's time to put this back together again. Let's see if I have enough grip on this little bolt here to get it started. 
think I do. Yes, I do. I can already see that getting the nut in here is going to be, on the other side, is going to be a pain in the butt, but I'll do it somehow. Okay, now I'm going to try to get this ridiculously tiny little nut on the other side. This is going to be, and I have to go around the screwdrivers too. And I got to film this. Let me get some place. I can get a pair of pliers on this thing. Wow. Okay, that was tricky. Let's uh, check the little closure. Closes and it hold hey, it actually holds it close. What a concept. And that will open it and then it'll flip back. Alright, so we have to get now another screw or another bolt right there and then nut on the other side. Let's do this. Pull this back a little bit. And you can see the two nuts and the plastic that I put in there that is reinforcing everything. go okay now all I gotta do is do this two more times I decided I wanted to take a shot at making this GNL logo look a bit as if it's inlaid so I am gonna go with some sharpies here specifically the gold and we are going to see how this looks but the first thing we're going to do is make sure we hit this with some Windex to try to degrease this and let it dry nicely especially in these grooves I don't want any grease to interfere with me putting the marker down. I am very pleased with the way this came out. Now, I used a black Sharpie on any little spots where I went over just a touch with the gold, and you can see that there's definitely a discoloration around the GNL in the background where I cleaned it, but after this dries for 24 hours, I am going to go back over it with a damp cloth and my vinyl protectorant, and it should look really good. And this is my finished GNL Legacy guitar case. It now has functional locking latches, which is pretty cool. Got the majority of the rust off of the hinges as well. All the bumper stickers and paint residue are all gone off of the guitar case now as well. But most importantly, I now have some latches that actually work. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, I am an Amazon affiliate, so please click my links in the description below to all the products that I used. When you do so, you will pay the exact same price as if you went to Amazon on your own, but Amazon will toss me a small commission and that will help me get my channel going and help me bring more content to you. Thank you and enjoy.